We're focusing on homelessness this morning, specifically homelessness right here in the Keys. I'm joined now by community activist Erica Biddle, who has just launched an exhibit titled Hidden in Plain View, Faces and Stories of Homelessness. Erica, thank you for being with me on the show today. I'm thrilled that you <laughs> asked me to come because well, that's what it's all about. We're trying to get the community involved. Uh, it's supposed to celebrate also the national, and uh, it's the, called the Hunger and Homeless Awareness Week this week. Mm -hmm. And tonight the opening will be uh, exciting to me because I wanted to see whether our motto, One Human Family, is all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. So. The show is really about what does connect, uh, what connects us as human beings. What's the common thread that mm -hmm. connects us, and we all, what do we have in common? It's not so much to rescue people because everybody is on their personal journey. Mm -hmm. So we can't really. There's a lot of service providers who do a good job, um, feeding. There is a shelter here, the overnight shelter, cots. But there's more to it, mm -hmm. and these are real people with identities, with lives. They're not, they didn't, they weren't always homeless, mm -hmm. and they probably, hopefully, will not be always homeless. Mm -hmm. And I tried to find out what they have that makes them survive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I, I looked for poetry, I looked for drawings, I looked, uh, because the, the whole thing was only possible by a grant of the Florida Keys uh, um, Arts Council, mm -hmm. or Council of the Arts, I should say. Yeah. So, so they're the ones who made this possible. And Erica, you, you talked with all of these people yourself, and you found out their stories, didn't you? Yeah, it was kind of an easy thing, because we're such a small community, and you see the people all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have this choice where you just say, um, I look the other way, mm -hmm. or I throw a coin just to have done something, or you go that one extra step, you go a little deeper. And I sta it started out with a joke. This guy would always say, can you spare some change? And I was on my way to yoga class, and I looked down to him and said, change is from within. And the guy started laughing, and we started our own little report, and that was the first story I got, and then um, it, go it went from there. Wow. And how many stories do you have in all, Erica? Well, I have over 100, but I'm not going to use this because the project, uh, in the creative process, things changed. Uh, there is a... Um, uh, I didn't want to have these sad stories. Everybody had their story. And the longer you're on the street, the deeper you get into this uh, uh, surviving mode. You know, you have to um, survive and sometimes... Uh, Drugs and alcohol help you to numb yourself and your pain. So it's basically a lot of people have gotten into, you know, things that make it even harder for them to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to judge anybody. I didn't want to risk. Uh, I'm not in that rescue stage. I wanted to find how do we connect as one human family. Mm -hmm. So that was my goal. And mm -hmm. so I have a few stories and I have invited those people to tell their stories instead of publishing and editing <laughs> and all right. of that. And I can't verify any of the stories. Right. So I have um, one or two stories that are there. If people want to um, know more, they can. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, because it's through the arts, and I picked the arts because I wanted to draw in the arts community. Right. And on the spiritual level, art is um, operating on a different level. You know, it's mm -hmm. not so much um, matter of fact. Is as I said earlier, everybody dreams, everybody loves beautiful things. And so uh, I had asked the homeless people to give me what they love. Mm -hmm. And some people um, were giving me some drawings on toilet paper on Faust, on Faustus Becks or Winn-Dixie or Publix or whatever they had. Right. Or uh, whatever, or driftwood or leaves, mm -hmm. uh, grape leaves. And it was just beautiful collection, but I ended up with this table of stuff that I didn't know what to do with. Mm -hmm. So I called the uh, local established artists mm -hmm. like uh, Lisa Esposita, Anja Marais, Eric Anfinsen, mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly Narakenvikius, um, Jim Sherrington, um, uh, a lot of the established artists. Is there anything you can relate to? Mm -hmm. And there was, for example, one very dark poem that was about 
really hating yourself and losing your self-esteem and no more dignity. Very dark poem. Uh, and Lenny and Dorothy, uh, I, I just call him Lenny, mm -hmm. uh, diff difficulty with pronouncing his name. But Lenny took this very, very dark painting and gave it a beautiful spin. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had 24 photographs out of these hundreds we took. Wow. We only have 24 photographs. Yeah. We have 12 artists collaborating with a homeless person. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we have some quilts that came. Uh, I can, uh, let me tell you about these artists. So we had these 12 pieces of art and uh, I didn't want to frame them mm -hmm. and get them all up there in a, in a traditional sense. I wanted this whole show to be portable mm -hmm. so I could bring it to the schools and to the churches to educate or maybe inform I should say because I'm not a teacher. And so um, I wanted to keep the show portable and I deci decided to make a book. Mm -hmm. which then could be published maybe. Mm -hmm. Now that didn't work out, the mm -hmm. whole book thing, the, the fabric we choose fell apart when we tried to sew it together. So I found this man and I have to pitch him because uh, he's new in town and he has the frame shop. His name is uh, George Newman and he has the Key West art and art, uh, frame and art supply store on Truman Avenue. Okay. And he, I walked in there and I said, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I wanted to do <laughs> this. And the guy said, oh, let me help you with that. And so that was, and he, uh, uh, his art is he makes out of lobster traps, trays mm -hmm. and frames mm -hmm. and things like that. And, um, and uh, so he built out of an old lobster trap a box. Really? So you can open it like a book. It is uh -huh. like a binder and the artwork will be in there, but I also can carry it and protect it. Uh, that's perfect. So the lobster trap, that is where the stories are in. Well, the, uh, the, the, the collaboration between mm -hmm. the homeless and the established the artist. artists. Mm -hmm. yes. And Erica, this, like you mentioned, is starting tonight and it's going to be lasting for a whole month at the studios of yes. Key West. Can they come any time during the days to see this or what are the hours? Well, uh, the best thing for tonight is 6 to 10. We're going to have live music on the sidewalk. Everybody eats. So if you have a little money, you can do a donation. Otherwise, there's free food. Just mm -hmm. one great healthy dish by Help Yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the day, they have classes often at the studios. They are open from 10 to 4, I believe. But sometimes they have classes, so you can check if it's open or not. Right. You can call Erica at the number that you see on the bottom of the screen or shoot her an email. Erica, this is amazing that you started up this project. I look forward to seeing this exhibit. And you will add some glamour to the <laughs> grand <laughs> Aww, Thank you, Erica. I'm going to be right back after these messages. Stay with me.